Hello and welcome to this After Effects Certification Preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. In this video, I'd like to go over Objective 2.2b, which is Customize and Manage Workspaces. So I get it, we already went over workspaces, but this includes a little bit more. This includes uh, keyboard shortcuts and that sort of thing. So in this particular movie, we're going to talk about uh, workspaces, as you already know, but we're also going to talk about shortcuts, menus, and of course, saving and resetting uh, workspaces. So let's get us started. In After Effects, what I did was to open the project that we have included with the exercise files. If you have not downloaded them, please go ahead and do so now. The link is in the description of this video. Right now we are on a default workspace, but we can switch workspaces by going to any of these. See, here it says review and it changes the workspace, then learn, small screen, etc., etc. And I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but I am going to tell you that you can switch workspaces by also going under window, workspace, and then choosing it here. Any panel that you don't want open, say, I don't want this audio open, you can click on this panel menu here and you can just close the panel. You can also use the shortcut, which is Control W on Windows or Command W on the Mac, and that will close the selected panel. If you're asked to open a panel on the test and you don't see it, chances are that that panel is going to be under the window menu. Not always, but most of the time is going to be there. If you inadvertently close a panel and you want to open it again, you can always reset the workspace that you're on. In this case, say uh, we are here on the default workspace to go and revert to that. All I have to do is double click this, uh, the name default and then reset and it goes back to what it was saved. I can also go to window workspace and reset default to saved layout. I can also click on these two arrows here and change the workspace for a workspace that perhaps is not visible on this uh, um, section here. So as you can see, switching workspaces is pretty easy. Saving workspaces is equally easy. Say I want to dock this audio uh, panel, say here together with a composition. I click on its name and drag it. And if I see a preview that looks like a rectangle and just release, now I have two tabs in here, meaning that the audio panel here is part of this panel set. If I click on the name again and I drag it and now the preview looks like a trapezoid, then that panel goes in between the other two panels. So I can hide panels, I can open panels, and I can resize them however I want, and then I can save that as a new workspace. To save it, all I have to do is go to Window Workspace, save as new workspace, and there you go. If I save it as, uh, say, to be deleted, right? This is now a workspace that I have here, and I can switch to the other workspaces, and then I can switch back to the to be deleted. I can also delete that workspace uh, by going to Window, Workspace, Edit Workspaces, and see this to be deleted. All I have to do is select it and then click on delete. And that's it pretty much for the workspaces uh, because we covered them before. I'd like to go and continue talking about objective 2.2b, which is workspace panel, which we already talked about, and of course, shortcuts, as in keyboard shortcuts. In After Effects, let's go to edit, keyboard shortcuts. And I am in the default keyboard layout preset, which is just called After Effects Default. If I can click here, I can do a save as. I can do a save as here, and I can save it as, for example, Luisa Custom Set. And now what I am editing is this particular set, which is my custom set, and not the one that shipped with After Effects. So I can just choose any of these things. Notice in thing in here that we have commands like application commands, panels, et cetera, et cetera. I can switch, for example, to the character and paragraph panels, and then those are the shortcuts that appear. 
notice that the ones that are taken are already in color. And I can keep on switching, say, uh, the project panel. This has uh, enter, as in open footage in the footage panel. I can switch to the timeline panel and show and hide. All of those things are in here. And I don't have to stay on the panels itself. I can just go to the application itself. So there are many shortcuts in here that I can change. For example, say file, new, and new project. It would be control alt n. Maybe I want it to be something different. Maybe I want it to be control alt shift n, which on the Mac would be command option shift n. So if I just click here, right? I can delete that by Xing it out. And now I can press that keyboard shortcut. But notice that it gives me a little um, uh, exclamation mark here on a yellow triangle, which is the universal symbol of, hey, wait. What that is telling me is that there is another application command that is using the same keyboard shortcut and that is the new folder. So I can just say, hey, you know what, override it. Who cares that that's the new folder? I'm not gonna use it. I just want the new project to have it. Not just do a save as, but I can copy all of these to the clipboard. So if I copy all of these to the clipboard, I can now open a text editing program. And now I can paste all of those in there. And what a lot of people do is that they uh, print this out and then put it next to their keyboard. And when it comes to shortcuts, you know, you don't have to learn all of them at the same time. You know, it is enough if you just learn one a week. Uh, that would be plenty. So I don't really want to save this Luisa custom set, so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to go back to the After Effects default. But just know that you can change not just workspaces, but you can also change your keyboard shortcuts to something that is appropriate for you. And this is the end of this movie. Thank you for watching and see you on the next movie.